Hey guys, welcome back to Concept Z Performance. So a while back we installed an HKS blow valve kit on our manual swapped Q60, which you can watch right up here. But some of you actually ordered the kit and want a more in-depth installation guide. So this is it. Let's get started. Here are the tools you will be needing. A seven millimeter wrench, 12 millimeter socket with ratchet, flathead screwdriver, straight and angled needle nose pliers, and snap ring pliers. First things first, remove the engine cover. Now, remove these four 12 millimeter bolts holding down the intercooler. With that done, do the same for the other side with these four bolts. Next, loosen the clamps on the intercooler turbo piping with a flathead screwdriver located on top and bottom of the coupler. Repeat on both sides. Note that the driver's side lower clamp is easier to remove with a 7mm wrench or ratchet. Now loosen the intercooler to throttle body coupler clamps to allow you to wiggle the intercooler. Do this to both sides with your 7mm wrench. When done, you should be able to remove the lower couplers. Do the same for the other side. The next piece that needs to come off is this rear vacuum line located just behind the driver's side throttle body. This can be a bit difficult, but using the pliers and some patience, you can loosen the clamps holding it in place and pull it right off. With the vacuum line off, you will be replacing it with our custom line. Make sure to install the clamps as far onto the line as you can for ease of installation. This is just as hard to install as it was to remove. Take your time wiggling it on. One half at a time with some pliers for a few minutes did the trick for us. Now onto the blow-off valves. Included in your kit is two HKS SSQV4s with the adapters needed. To assemble, slide the snap ring over the blow-off valve and install the gasket to the adapter. Then, attach the adapter to the blow-off valve with the outlet facing towards the vacuum port. Next, using snap ring pliers, install the snap ring to hold everything in place. Do this for both blow-off valves. With that done, we can transfer the clamps from the old intercooler couplers onto the new CZP1s, including the new ones supplied. There are two different sizes as you can see here. The shorter one going to the passenger or right side, and the longer one going to the driver or left side. To install these new couplers is the opposite of removal, except these couplers have an opening that needs to be facing towards the headlight to allow room for the new blow-off valve. You can see the angle you need here, as it faces the headlight like so. With that done, repeat the same to the other side, making sure to tighten the clamps. Next, the assembled blow off valves can be installed, making sure to have the vacuum ports facing upwards. Once installed, make sure to tighten the clamps, repeat on the other side. Supplied in the kit are vacuum lines, a larger 6mm and a smaller 3.5mm, filters into T-fitting, and lastly zip ties. Take the smaller 3.5mm line and cut it in half so that it resembles what we have here. 
Feed the larger 6mm line down to the new vacuum fitting installed behind the throttle body. Install this line onto the barbed fitting. With it installed, route the line under the throttle body coupler and bring it to the front of the engine. Attach the T-fitting to the line and secure it with a zip tie. Now attach the two smaller 3.5mm lines to either end of the T-fitting, making sure to secure them with zip ties. Route them to the blow-off valves and secure them with zip ties as well. This next step is optional, but we recommend it. Cut the smaller 3.5mm line somewhere near the T-fitting and attach one of the supplied filters. And then, tighten both sides with the zip tie. Do this for both 3.5mm lines as there are two filters supplied. That's it. Tuck everything away and reinstall the cover. Now your car is ready to hit the road.